Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And so far, we developed two programs. The first program is displaying the output in the full screen mode. If you see the first program, in the first program, we have the output in the full screen mode. And if I will go to second program, in the second program, we are getting the same to same output in the container. And we used CLSALV table class, single class. And this class is a combination of all the previous tools. So with the help of same class, we are getting the output in full screen mode also. This is our full screen mode and this is our container. Now we will proceed further. Now after that, if you see this particular program in which we are getting the output in the full screen mode, many people will ask and many people will think we are getting the buttons, predefined buttons of SAP in the menu bar. We have function keys, we have title bar, then where are those application toolbar buttons? We have sort in ascending order, descending order, filter button, export button. Where are all those buttons? These buttons, those buttons are not visible here. Just see, if we have the output in the container, you can see ascending, descending, find, filter, all those buttons are here, but these buttons are not available here. Now, how, how we can provide those buttons? And it's a simple thing, yes, sir. How we can go for those buttons? Through coding, we need to do this particular thing. Because customer will say, okay, I'm getting the output, but I'm not able to sort where are those predefined buttons, where are those predefined functionalities of the ALB. So our next task is how we can make them unable. Now make a golden rule. Suppose simple. Whenever we want to display the ALB, firstly we get the instance of the ALB. Once we get the instance of the ALB, then we display the ALB using the display method. Now you want to enable, now you want to provide these functions, whatever the predefined functions are there. Same to say, we will firstly get the object of the functions. Once we get the object of the functions, we will simply, simply make them enable. It's a golden rule. In the next video, whenever we will go for the column settings, suppose whenever we will change the labels, at that time also same to same thing. We will get the object of the column, then we will change the labels of the column. Whenever we want to display the ALV, firstly we get the object of the ALV. Can we display the ALV? Now we want functions. So firstly, we will get the object of the function. Then we will make them enable. If we want to go for column, so firstly, we will get the object of the column. Then we will go for further changes. And in this class, we have each and everything is available. There's a method for each and everything. You just need to call that particular method. Suppose, if I will go for this particular class, CLSALV table, and I told you, you need to firstly get the object. So firstly, I will simply find, we will get the object of the functions. And you can see, we have a method available and the description itself is saying, we will get the object of the function. So we will firstly call this method. Now we will we got the object of the ALV. Now we will simply call the method. I will go to pattern. 
ABAP object patterns. Now, what is your object or instance? Allo underscore ALB. What is our class? CL SALV underscore table. Now we will simply go for F4 of this method. And we will choose the method get functions. Because we want to get the object of the functions. I will go for OK. Now we are getting some, we need to declare some parameter in front of this value. If I want to check the type of this value, I will simply double click. You can see get underscore functions. I, I will go for yes. Get underscore functions value is type ref to this particular class. And you all know whenever you have type ref to, it means we are getting the object. We are returning the object. So what I will do, I will simply declare a object. So I will write here hello underscore functions hello underscore functions type ref to this particular class clsalv functions list so we will get the object of the functions so whenever we will call this method we will get the object of the functions. And once we will get the object of the functions, can we make the functions enable whatever is in the application toolbar? Yes. Now we will simply go for this class now. Now we will not go for CLSALV table. When we use the method get underscore functions, of CLSALV table class, we are getting a object, object of which particular class CLSALV functions list. Class itself is saying it is a class for the functions. So we will check now which function we need to use, which method we need to use in this particular class. We will simply see. I will scroll down. You can see we have a method set underscore all. It will activate all our ALV functions. But before using this, I will firstly call set underscore default. So that you can understand how default will be and how all will be. Set underscore de default is activation of standards generic function. It will only, only activate the default functions. Suppose firstly, I will call this. Because it might be the case customer only require default functions. Now I will go to pattern. I will go to a back object patterns. Now do not go for LO underscore ALV because now we are going for different class CLALV functions list. So what is the object of the same? LO underscore functions. And what is the class? CLSALV underscore functions underscore list. And now I will simply call the firstly, I will go for default functions. So I will go for set underscore default. I will go for OK. So firstly, we are setting the default functions. I will uncomment this exporting. Now it is clearly, clearly saying by the description itself, you can understand. True means you are making, you are setting the default functions to true. True means what? The value is capital X. False means what? Value is space. So
So as of now, we want to set the default functions. So what the value we are passing through, or if you want detailed understanding, just double click. See, whenever I double clicked, I will go for yes. It is a interface. It is a interface. And have you seen? We have two attributes means two particular variables. One is true and one is false. And just see, we are referring which particular variable true. If you want to check the value of true, see here itself. If I will go for the value of true, you can see this is true. It is of this particular type and value is this. If I will double click on the value, just see it is capital X. If I will go for a BAP underscore false, what is the value space? So as of now, what we are passing? We are passing true. True means what is the value of that? Capital X. And you all know whenever we want to make a neighbor, the value is capital X. I will activate. And if I will show you default functions, you can see we are getting the default functions in the application toolbar. Sort in ascending, descending, filter, and this is our change layout. If you want other buttons also, just see, these, these are the total buttons. If you want all the buttons, rather than set underscore default, you need to use set underscore all. Suppose I will comment this. And now I will simply go for pattern button. A BAP object patterns. Yes. Rather than set underscore default. Now I will use set underscore all. Set underscore all. I will go for OK. Now I will simply export and we are passing the value true. True means capital X. If I will run, if I will give the input and you can see we have all the functions now. So this is the way how you can enable the functions. If you have ALV in the container, at that time, the functions are there. If you are going for full screen mode, then you need to go for enabling of the method. You are calling the method, yes, set underscore all or set underscore default of which particular class CL underscore SALV underscore functions underscore list. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, before this video, we discussed that we have two programs. In one program, we are getting the output in the full screen mode. In another program, we are getting the output in the container. But we have used same class, CL underscore SALB underscore table. In the first program, when we have full screen display, we are not getting the default buttons in the application toolbar like sort, like filter, like export. So make a golden rule. Whenever you want to do this, firstly get the object. Now you want to enable the functions. So firstly get the object of the functions. So we called which method? Get underscore functions. So we got the object of the functions. This object of the functions is referring to this particular class. So we checked into this particular class. We have the method set underscore all or set underscore default. Set underscore default will give some default functions. Set underscore all will give you all the functions which are the part of application toolbar. In the next video, we will simply, simply understand in the debugging mode how we are getting the object and how we are calling the particular object to get all the functions. So that's it in this video. Thank you.
you